And welcome back live to Franklin Field. We're set for the women's collegiate distant medaling. And the record, Villanova in 1998, a time of 1048.38. And this is how the distance medley is run. Teams run four legs, the leadoff 1,200 meters, three laps, the second leg a 400, one lap, third leg two laps in an 800, and the anchor leg one mile. We are in the middle of the second leg, and Tulane leads, followed by Wisconsin and Villanova, and the team to pay very close attention to, the favorite, Marcus Wisconsin. Gus, what, what happened here is that Villanova got off to a good start. They used Tamika Grizzle at the beginning, and she, she faltered. She had she must be a little bit tired from the 4x15. She ran an outstanding leg yesterday, but Tulane are a sleeper in this race. They're going to come from... Be, they're, they're, they've taken the lead. They're running very, very aggressively, and they're trying to open up this lead right now even more so. Gus Johnson along with Marcus O'Sullivan, Dwight Stones, the women's distance medley. And the three top teams now, Tulane, Wisconsin, followed by Villanova. And Marcus, you ran in this race a number of times in your career. I've run here four, four times in the DMR, and um, I've only won it once. I've been on a team that has won it once, and I've lost three times, so I haven't had a good record in this event. But on the women's side, Villanova has been very successful in this race. Eight times out of the last 11 years, the Lady Wildcats have been successful here, but they are missing a couple of their very good runners due to some surgeries that they had earlier in the year, which is going to hurt their strength. Dwight, unfortunately, Tolleson and uh, Joss, they're out with injury, and they were two crucial, valuable athletes in this race. With them missing, you're depending on Carmen Duma, who's a terrific miler, but she's going to have too much work to do here today. So Wisconsin, really the team to watch, they won the 4x1500 meters Friday, Difficult to say how much that took out of the participants in the distance medley relay here. But Wisconsin, a very well-coached team. Peter Tagan, who has coached athletes like Susie Favor Hamilton way back in the 80s and early 90s to great distance medley relay and other relay events. And Wisconsin's working its way through the field. Becky Schaefer heads around the final turn and with 100 meters remaining, her best time, 206.5. You know, Dwight, it's tough out there today. That With the wind, the way it's going, it's when, you, when you're in the lead, you've got nobody to shelter behind. It makes it very, very difficult for the athletes, and every athlete, because, you know, even in the second-place athlete, they have nobody there. Even the third-place athlete, she's got nobody there. So it's very, very tough in these windy conditions today. And this is the fourth and final leg, the 1,600-meter leg, just short of a mile. And what a race we could have anticipated had Villanova been at full strength. The tradition that they have here, which Marcus, of course, you understand so very well. Villanova has the world American and collegiate records in this event, even though this is not an official world record event. They have owned this event for the entire time that it's been run. Set the record off 10 years ago at this particular meet. And to not be at full strength has got to be a little bit frustrating, but we are looking at a very strong, very aggressive Wisconsin team. And uh, they are out, out there all by themselves, as you said, dealing with these tough wind conditions. Marcus, in, a, in an event like this, what kind of team mentality do you have to have going into it? You have to have a very cohesive team. You have to have a team that knows what they have to do. The three-quarters leg, yeah, the beginning of the race, their objective is to jostle we'll for position, look around, keep the Coming race out. under control. Not that there's this not going to be too much of a, an advantage gain on this. The quarter miler, she's supposed to three do any minutes. damage control that may have occurred in the, in the 1,200 meters. And the 800 meters is to set the miler up. Right now, though, Sarah Fredrickson from Wisconsin, the anchor for the Badgers with a 30-meter lead around the first turn. Ready to head down the back stretch. Gus, this is a great job by Peter Teague. He moved, he, he must have thought Jenny Westford was a little bit tired from the 4x15. He decided probably last night that, look, let's move it to the 800, bring Fredericks in. 
she'll be a fresher athlete, and, and I think this is, a, this is a very, very important decision that he made, and I'm sure he thought about it, and it's paying dividends right now. Now, Villanova's in third place right now, probably 35 or 40 meters off the pace. However, Carmen Duma is an extremely good miler. Is she mature enough? Is she in, in good enough fitness at this time of year to slowly whittle away at the lead of Wisconsin and, and really close that gap? It, it's tough, and it's frustrating for a good miler to be left such a deficit. Um, she's making her way through, she's, she's working hard, she knows she's got to do something soon if she's going to do anything at all, but this gap is incredible, and, and, and I think Wisconsin are well prepared. Peter Teagan, as I say, has these girls ready every year for Penn. And Carmen Duman, the 1998 NCAA Indoor Mile Champion from Villanova, but she has a great distance to run to catch up with the team from Wisconsin. As a matter of fact, when you talk about Villanova, they're celebrating their 100th year in track and field. They've won this race eight of the last 11 years. And one of their coaches, John Marshall, was on the 1984 Olympic team as a member of the 800 meters. So he knows what high level running is about. And Coach Ellen Strickler, who works a lot with the girls as well, doing very, very well to keep these teams competitive at this time of the year. They've ha had wonderful weather here the last couple of days. Uh, the wind, a little bit of a problem today, probably making a difference as we see Carmen Duma really struggling out there. And as you said, Marcus, she was just handed too big a deficit. It's probably down to 25 meters now, but there's still just a little over one lap to go. Dwight, the one advantage that these girls do have right now is that Stamps is helping Duma and Duma is helping Stamps. Fredericks is out there totally by herself. She's working alone, and a lot of a lot of the steps that could be brought. And the belt lap, the final lap of the women's distance medley. Sarah Fredrickson, the anchor leg for the Wisconsin Badgers. But you can see Duma trying to make her move around the first turn. This will make for a great finish. This is where all the this is where all the work is done right now. The last 300 meters, you have to start making that move right now because once you get into that final turn, Dwight, as you know, it's a 60 meter straightaway. It's Wisconsin, Villanova, and Stanford down the back stretch, and here comes Duma. Carmen Duma making a great move here. It's just a matter of does she have enough left to try and close the gap. Sarah Fredrickson from Wisconsin clearly laboring, and she has closed the gap to about. 10 meters. Is there enough left, though? As you said, Marcus, there's only about 120 meters left because of the short straightaway here at Franklin Field. Duma's an experienced athlete. And keep in mind that Fredericks is into the wing, coming into the home straight. This is going to be a terrific finish. 50 meters to go. Fredrickson with a four-meter lead, but Duma closing. But Fredrickson with just enough to hold on. And what an effort, however by Carmen Duma from Villanova, the junior from Cambridge, Ontario. I will tell you, that was a great gutty performance by a Villanova team that has been depleted, clearly, by the uh, surgeries that they have had to come that close to a Wisconsin team that was probably better rested and better prepared. They came back, they won the 4 by 1500 meters yesterday, but I will have to tell you, Carmen Duma experienced an entire year's worth of knowledge of how to run in a, in a situation where she's got to be patient and try to catch someone with so very little left to go. And here's the stretch run. She's a terrific athlete. You can see she's running on guts right here. But in fairness to Peter Teagan, he did a terrific job in timing this to perfection. Look, he's got two, maybe one yard to spare when he crosses that line. That's excellent coaching right there. Downstairs, Michelle Tafoya with the winners. All right, congratulations to the Wisconsin Badgers. What are you thinking as you come around that back stretch and you're definitely getting pushed? Um, I was just listening for the crowd and they were going more and more crazy and I just knew that they were catching up and I just kept thinking I wanted this so bad I could taste it. <laughs> so what did you do physically to push yourself across that finish line first? I just, in my head, I pictured myself winning and that's all I needed. <laughs> People talk about how special it is just to compete in these pen relays. Talk about how special it is to win. It is. It's so special. We've never been here before and it was a great experience. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. Gus, back to you. All right, Michelle, just a great meet for the Wisconsin track team so far. Yesterday, a really good job and they follow it up today with the win at the women's distance medley. And the final results, Wisconsin holding on to Edge Villanova and followed by Stanford.